Wands are only as powerful as the wizards who use them. If you would like to have your own magic wand, I will show you how to make it. It's very easy to make and you will only need just a few things. For this project you are going to need chopsticks, brushes, hot glue, acrylic paint and beads. There are different ways how you can decorate your magic wand. For this first design, take one of your chopsticks and start adding hot glue to the top of the stick. Don't think too much when you do that, so just do it spontaneously to get a more realistic look. If you have that, you can attach a bead on top of the chopstick while the hot glue hasn't cooled down yet. Then you can add more details on top and be creative. It might slide around at first, but just keep holding the bead until the glue has cooled down. As soon as the bead is fixed, you can go ahead and add details to the stick with your hot glue gun. There is no right or wrong when you decorate your chopstick. You can be very spontaneously and the wand will still look really nice when it's finished. To achieve more texture, you can also add small beads on top of the hot glue while it hasn't cooled down yet. Make sure you press it into the glue a little bit so they won't fall off that easily. Another way how you can decorate the chopstick is by applying small beads on top of the glue instead of one big one. For the stick itself, I just added randomly swirly strings of hot glue. Try to add more glue at the upper part of the chopstick so you get a nice transition from the handle to the end of the wand. While the glue is warm, you can go ahead and add more beads to the chopstick to get more interesting details to the surface. You can put the drying chopsticks into a jar or something else so they cool down properly without messing up the pattern you just created. When everything has cooled down, you can now go ahead and paint the chopstick. I decided to cover up the whole stick with acrylic paint first and then add more details later on. So let the chopsticks dry completely. For this step, I place them onto some paper and move them a little bit after a while so they won't stick to the paper. When everything is dry, you should get something like this. Then you can go ahead and start adding more color details to the magic wand. I used gold acrylic paint for some of the beads and I also added a golden shine to the rest of the stick by blending in some gold acrylic paint with my fingers. Of course you can use any color you want, I just like this blue green color and how the gold and pink color looked on it. I wanted to make my other wand kinda look like a scepter, so I used gold and black acrylic paint. And again, don't worry too much about making it totally perfect. Color your magic wands until you're happy how they look like and then let everything dry completely. And you're done! With just hot glue and some chopsticks, you can create any magic wand you want. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Don't forget to like this video to support this channel, I will really appreciate it. And in case you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more easy and fun DIYs in the future. And if you are going to recreate this DIY, make sure to share pictures with me on Twitter or Facebook or tag me on Instagram. Thank you for watching everyone and see you soon!